I wish to formally react to the speech of the good mayor of the city of Baguio, Benjamin Magalong. With the annual audit report of COA ending December 31, 2022, this representation pointed out that 347 development projects prioritized by the city of Baguio were never implemented. They are worth 943 million pesos. The COA said the required detailed engineering activities were never undertaken. The total of those 40 ongoing projects is 96 million pesos. Why is it that COA was able to note a time deposit of the city of Baguio in the amount of 4.3 billion pesos? Bakit po iipunin ang 4.3 billion? Doon lamang sa harap po ng City Hall, doon sa Oket, Otek Street. Right at the tip of the nose of the mayor of Baguio City, meron pong pasugalan doon. I do not believe that the mayor of Baguio City has the moral integrity or the rectitude. Madam Speaker, I rise on a question of privilege. What is the nature of the matter on which the Honorable Marcoletto rises? I wish to formally react to the speech of the good mayor of the city of Baguio, Benjamin Magalong. The speaker, the Honorable Marcoletta has 10 minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Bible says, do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. On July 3, 2023, the city mayor of Baguio spoke before the personnel of the Philippine National Police at its headquarters in Quezon City in its flags raising ceremony. Initially, Madam Speaker, he spoke about technology and governance. How Local governments can enhance the way they govern, the way they process, the way they manage local government units. But surprisingly, he discarded, as he said, his prepared speech, and he allegedly talked from his heart and from his mind. He talked about the mounting national budget of the country. He said about 13.86 trillion pesos, taking swipe at the former president, Rodrigo Duterte, saying that in his term, the national budget rose to 142%. And he said, he's very much worried he said that only a few raise hell. And at that point, he said that he himself and some of his colleagues in the PNP are prepared to contribute a reasonable part of their pension to address the national budget. But suddenly, he turned and appointed like an accusing finger to the legislature. Mabuti po, Madam Speaker, basahin ko po yung parte ng kanyang sinabi. Ito po, and I quote. Pero nakakalungkot, nothing have we heard from our legislators that they are willing to give up their pork barrels. Nakakalungkot na meron na nga silang tinatawag na porsyento sa bawat project, hindi pa nagsawa. May porsyento na nga sila, sila pa ang contractor, sila pa rin ang supplier. Hintayin natin kung anong sasabihin ng ating mga magigiting na legislators. Hintayin natin silang magsalita. Hopefully, one of them will come out in the open and tell us it is about time that legislators should also give a big, a big contribution to address a national government issue, especially on our national debt. Big words. Madam Speaker, it is as if the good mayor of Baguio 
is or would like to portray himself as the knight in charming armor, armed with a silver bullet to address corruption in this country. I'd like to believe that he is trying to project himself as the Hercules of Greece in mythology, who has tried to cleanse the Ogean, the Ogean stables, the modern reference of graft and corruption, Madam Speaker. And so this representation initially reacted in his program several days ago. Armed with the annual audit report of COA ending December 31, 2022, this representation pointed out that 347 development projects prioritized by the city of Baguio were never implemented. They are worth 943 million pesos, Madam Speaker. So the intended purpose, the intended socio-economic and environmental services to the targeted beneficiaries were not delivered. A portion of that audit report Madam Speaker also showed that 40 of the ongoing partially implemented projects were terminated because they incurred substantial negative slippage. 26 of them valued 40 million pesos, incurred negative 15%. What does this mean, Madam Speaker? This means that there is no actual monitoring and supervision of the projects. The COA said the required detailed engineering activities were never undertaken. The total of those 40 ongoing projects is 96 million pesos, Madam Speaker. The funds received from DPWH intended to construct a multipurpose building and the athletic Oval Bowl in Burhan Park, Madam Speaker, were used to pay the progress billing of a separate city project in violation of the project's memorandum of agreement and in violation of the GAA of 2021. That's their base diversion, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the uh, accounts of the Special education tax and the real property tax amounting to 456 million pesos could not be ascertained. Why? Because of the unreconciled difference between the reported balance of the city accounting office and the reported tax due of the city treasury office in the amount of 265 million pesos or a discrepancy of some 191 million pesos. By December 31, 2022, the total unsettled notice of disallowances and charges, Madam Speaker, as audited by COA, Total 235 million pesos. Even the local disaster reduction management fund in the total of 405 million pesos. Only 106 million pesos were utilized, Madam Speaker, showing a utilization rate of 26 percent. Why? Why do they have to withhold 
the services that are due to the constituents of Baguio. Why is it that COA was able to note a time deposit of the city of Baguio in the amount of 4.3 billion pesos? Bakit hindi po nila gastahin? This is supposed to mitigate the effects of the environment to shield and protect the people of Baguio. Bakit po iipunin ang 4.3 billion pesos in the treasury, in the banks, at hindi gamitin? Hinamon ko po siya sa aking program, sabi ko, if you're listening, Mayor Magalong, okay naman po yung contribution ng inyong pension, kung gusto po ninyo. Pero maliit po yun. Why don't you give up the confidential fund? Kasi po, meron po kayong confidential fund according to reports about 2 million pesos per year. Siguro magsimula po kayo doon and then kung meron po kayong maitulong at na iba pa, makausap nyo ibang mga mayors. Whatever amount that you will be able to produce, I will ask the leadership of Congress to match that. Maybe five times of the amount that you will be able to produce so that we can address the problem of our national budget. Pero huwag kang magpaparatan. Do not point the accusing finger to the legislature. The legislature is much more greater than the sum total of its parts. Do not generalize. With this qualified accounts of COA, Madam Speaker, the case of Mayor Magalong is like the pot telling the kettle black. Para pong sinabi po nung palayok, o ikaw kawali ang itim-itim mo. Nasabi ko rin po sa programa ko, Madam Speaker, na maraming illegal gambling dyan eh, sa'yo. Doon lamang sa harap po ng City Hall, doon sa Oket, Otek Street. Right at the tip of the nose of the mayor of Baguio City, meron pong pasugalan doon. In Dapay, in Legarda area, doon sa Kayang Hilltop, in Magsaysay area, sa Buknawan, ang dami pong pasugalan. Tinamin niya po yun. Sabi niya, hindi ko naman problema yung mga pasugalan. Trabaho ng polisyan. Sino po ba ang naglalagay ng pulis sa isang siyudad, Madam Speaker? Hindi naman ako kanya kumukuha kung ano man ang nagaganap sa pasugalan. Kung hindi ka nagkakaroon, bakit hindi mo ipasara o ipatigil? Nasyado naman yata ang obvious yun. Sabi pa niya, Madam Speaker, Huwag niyong pakikialaman ng Baguio. Ayaw mo palang pakikialaman ng Baguio, ba't pinakikialaman mo ang legislature? Did he forget, Madam Speaker, that Congress, aside from legislative functions, meron po tayong dalawa pa ang natitirang functions. This is the power to conduct inquiry in aid of legislation as well as the oversight function of Congress. Kaya po natin silang ipatawag. Wag po niyang sasabihin na wag pakialaman ang Baguio. Dahil hindi naman sa kanya ang Baguio. Nung nagpa-interview po siya sa radio and television, he was asked to name names. But he refused to name names. Nang sabi po, ang sabi po niya, I cannot do that. If I name names, I will be put in a very, very adverse situation. How come that he so appeared like he's, he cares about 
our country, that he loved the country, that he showed patriotism and heroism. But he cannot face, he is not brave enough to face the consequences of his action. Madam Speaker, there was a challenge posed by the Bible thousands of years ago. He who is without sin should cast the first stone. With all due respect and in all candor, Madam Speaker, I do not believe that the mayor of Baguio City has the moral integrity or the rectitude to cast the first stone. No one is, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much.